I like to think of myself as an honest guy. Like, there's one rule. I, I'm almost too truthful. Like, mm. my girlfriend's sitting off camera, and she would agree mm -hmm. that I, I almost almost say the truth too much because that's that's just the rules I live by. So. I would much rather just know the body count and make a decision from there. I have certain <sighs> standards I'd set that myself. That is none of your business, though. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it does... All right, two questions before okay. we continue the video. Number one, is it a man's business or a woman's business when they're about to get into a relationship of their body count? I feel like that's so nosy of you. Like, Why? How... If, that, if I'm about so, to be intimate... Okay, I'm just saying, like, okay, for a woman's... Per say, if I'm the woman, I'm per my perspective, mm -hmm. I don't... Um, I'm not going to ask you mm -hmm. what's your body count because that's your business. And I'm the type of person where your business is your business and my business is my business. Even until, if you're in a relationship with them. How long am I in that relationship? If it's like a fresh thing, like, no. First time I was getting intimate, no. Because you could wrap that bitch up and keep of it course. pushing. Yeah. So it's like, I don't need to know. <laughs> not going to. But I'm talking, about a real, I'm talking about relationship, like boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah, I feel like it's a valid question to ask at some point because you're opening up with that person. You're okay. sharing your story. And that's when it's a valid time to share your story and live oh. your truth. And I don't I don't think you should be judged. If like, say, okay, okay. Well, and you wouldn't want that before you get into a relationship. I mean, what does that... So let me ask this then. I met you now mm -hmm. and I, I'm in a relationship with you now. What does if you have a... 10 body count or 100 body count have to do with what we're doing now you know for, for a man everything about experience and good times etc now i know how to use that experience for good things for a woman i would say it's complete opposite that's not what i meant i'm talking about like if i even if i ask you and you tell me a or b the result that end result is still the same regardless we're still in the present we're still in the now doesn't change the present just because like Regardless, you did you did in the past. We're now in the present. So you personally don't care. No, I don't. Even if I'm with a girl or a guy, like what does it have to do with right now? Either way, hmm. regardless, we're still in the present. It, either hmm. answer, it's not going to change the present. Okay, for you, for me, uh, <laughs> and for for no, most women. When I say it's not going to change present, it's not going to change your present. Like I tell you, say I'm I had like a hundred dudes or fifty dudes or ten dudes. I, it doesn't change me. Yes, it does. For me, in my head, it does. Immediately, if I was, we were dating, I, you told me, and we about to get serious, and I'm saying, hey, what's your body count? Even though I would never ask that. Um, so you don't care? No, no, no. I do care. But you, if you ask the girl her body count, she's more than likely going to lie. So you don't look at body count of asking just to ask. It just doesn't make sense. You look at her mannerisms. But that's a whole different thing for right now. What I'm talking about is you get into, about to get into a relationship, and you ask, hey, what's your body count? And you say 100, I'm out. I'm not going to take you serious no more. I'm not going to put a ring on it. I'm not taking you no type of serious if your body count is 100. The fuck? That just doesn't make How sense. How old are you guys? Huh? How old are you guys when you're asking this? I don't know. Between 24 are and 30. Are y'all 40? Are y'all 20? Because It doesn't matter. I could, I'll could. probably be 70 years old and the bitch could be 60 years old. And if she says, my body count is 100, hey, I'm out. I, can, I would say the same thing for a dude, so I get it. Okay, then what's the lowest body count? So that means it doesn't matter for you then. I'm just saying, if you're a slut, you're a slut. But I'm just <laughs> saying, like, if you told me, like, uh, you're if we're like twenty something and your body okay. count's a hundred as a dude, I'm like, you got some passed around dick, cool. Okay. Nice. Okay. I probably can find a Yelp review about you. <laughs> Maybe, but what? Okay, then what number is too high? Because obviously, one hundred is too high for you, even um, from your perspective, from a woman to a man. What is too high for you? See, that's fucking around and finding out. I'm not okay, but um, I would say what's too high. I need that sound effect. Cause city boy, city boy. I would say what's too high. I would say, cause I don't care. I'm gonna say. You just said you care. I know, I know. I'm not. I'm gonna say like a hundred. Like a hundred. I'm. That's where I'm like. I don't know if this is mm, the okay. right one. Yeah. A hundred. I'm just like you're in three digits. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. I see you. Okay, and this leads to my second question, which was, does body count matter? And you kind of answered that. If you're in three digits, I just have okay. to sub, I have to side eye you, dude or girl. I'm just gonna side eye you. I guess we'll be friends, but okay. Stop you. It also the, gives me like you the have bad commitment issues if you have over a hundred bodies. Uh, Guy or girl. I don't even want to get started with roasting yet, but Whatever. damn. I'm just saying, like it also no, gives me because commitment issues. Here's vibe. the problem that I have with this is. Women say that high body counts, you look disgusting, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But typically, most women go for the niggas that got the high body counts. Because they probably got money. 
what's with it. Well, money, status, etc. But the point is, if you have a high body count, that means you bring in some type of value to the world to even get that high body count to begin with. But I'm just saying to be with, that gives commitment. It sounds like you have some commitment issues if you have that high of a body count. It sounds like commitment issues. So for relationship wise, mm. that's why I would side issue it. Mm. Okay, but for not like recreational. Have no. Fun. Cause y'all are, he's obviously been having fun. So. <laughs> All right. Does ma it does what, matter though. Yeah, why are it you does guys making a business? It is most it's certainly his account. business. It is certainly hell? his business. It is not. Because it is, yes it is. It is because it <laughs> shows to me like a sense of self value. Um, I think especially from a female, like from a male perspective, like when you meet a, meet a girl, it shows to me a sense of self value because I think everyone could agree here that most guys can sleep with someone and it could mean nothing. Whereas with girls, not every time, okay, there's exceptions uh, to the rule. No, no, he cleared, oh, he cleared okay. a lot of times it takes a lot to get into that, into that place. And what are you getting from it? Oh, like, so why, why are coming. you shaking your head? I know girls that sleep with guys just because they want to have sex. Mm -hmm. oh, they yeah, yeah. The same, like, or if a guy home. can do it, let me do it. They're at that point where I'm a hoe, I've done it. Let yeah, me just but, but, continue. but men, men and women are different. And I understand and that. And so men have to have... Oh, go ahead. We can't do it. We can't do what guys do. Oh. We can't. We can't. Damn. I watch paternity court. Mm. We can't do it. This is interesting. Okay. We can't. I wouldn't even think you would agree with this. I don't think... Because you got in the perspective of, like, it's going in you, like, Mm -hmm. That's a lot more than what you do. The dude is doing, you know. So, yeah. okay, I, I couldn't do that. That's a lot of energy being expelled. City boy, city boy, city boy. <laughs> women have a certain level of requirements to sleep with I a get man. Because some people say, "Oh, women have sex," and because it takes a lot more for women to have sex. But I've literally seen girls that will sleep with men and feel no type yeah, of way. Yeah, but they don't. They don't start like that. Typically. They do. They, they don't. Do. They, they don't. don't not care. typically. They they're, they're not typically. Uh, they don't they're typically. Girls that are they, they don't typically start. They they become that. But when they're 15, 16, 17, 18, whenever they lose their virginity, mm -hmm. they're not. They don't. They're not born a savage. They're made. They were, because yeah. they just been. And that's and that's why do men don't want. Huh? Do you think that they're made and not born? I definitely think that they're made and not born because. As a woman, you gonna have biological urges, right? And to go against those biological urges, you have to be made a certain way. Just like as a man, to go against, uh, you know, sleeping with as many women as possible, you have to literally calm that shit down to be monogamous with a woman. So yeah, it goes both ways for me personally. What about you? I think you're right. Damn, you, you, you have to become much. it. You what happened to before the show? What was that energy before the show? Hey, she had like, a lot of shit to I say did. before the show. No, I didn't. No, go ahead. I had a little bit, but I mm. said body count kind of matters. And we're, okay. we're still going in it. We still got a video to go. Got you, got we're you. We're not even halfway. Okay, okay. Do you think that body counts matters for men? Because I know I asked you for women. Do you think body counts matters for men? Men compare women to keyholes. So, oh, and oh also y'all got to do a little maturing. So I think it does. Men... I think it does matter because y'all worry about the wrong shit. Some men will are only worried about sex and not uh. worried about the woman's, you know, intellect. So I think, yeah, there are some dudes who definitely high value pussy over, you know, the actual woman. So no, yeah. because your body count is could be literally a direct correlation to that woman. Oh wait, we did just say this. I think it does correlate to like you have bad, you like you you have commitment issues in a sense. I wouldn't even say, I would say commitment issues for a woman, yes, but I would even say more so about discipline, right? So if you a, a woman and you have the pick of the litter and you just fucking everybody and have no fucking standards, you don't have no discipline at all. So your past to me shows that you don't have discipline, so why would I trust you with, my, with the future? That just doesn't make sense. I feel like discipline can be used for both guys and girls, though. Oh, no. Yeah, because guys, nah, boo -boo. if they don't have, I mean, same thing, like... How a so? guy with a high body count and a girl with the same high body count, neither one of them have discipline. No. You can't say a guy with the same body count as a girl that he has discipline and she doesn't. Okay, so are men and women the same? I mean, take out their vagina and dicks and they're essentially the same. No. Yeah. No, not even then. Because you, you have hormones, you have biology, you have your brain set up a certain way. Well, it's you a spectrum. You move a certain way. It's, what's a spectrum? Hormones and testosterone. True, true, true. So, I mean, like, in that, that's okay. where I'm like, we are essentially the same, and testosterone and hormones is a spectrum. My, men can have some hot, they have a higher amount of testosterone, you know, versus mm -hmm. lower. Like, you know, let's, there are girls Let's stay on topic. Can, no, no, let's okay, stay on topic. Let's stay on so, topic. let's go back. <laughs> are men and women the same in yeah. society? 
which society are we talking about? In American oh society, <laughs> we're more, yeah, in, in a sense, yeah, women are trying to be more alike. There are some places the that The answer are, is uh, yes. no. No, the answer is no. So, in the answer society? Is, yes, it's no. If you go uh, downstairs to the bar right now, it's Thursday, right? You go downstairs to the bar and you scream, hey, I want some sex or a dick, whatever the fuck. It's going to be a line of niggas ready to fucking give you the best sex of your fucking life, so to speak. But if a dude that's handsome as fuck, that's rich as fuck, and says the same exact thing, he will not even be close to the amount that you have. So men and women do not play by the same rules when it comes to society and when it comes to sex and dynamics of dating. So if for you to get sex, it's easy. That's why it's not respected. For a man to get sex, it's hard. That's why it's respected. So you can't put the same thing on each other. I'm, I'm confused on why you think one is discipline, which is stopping you from doing something, and one you worked hard to get it, so now you're enjoying that. There are some fine dudes out here who are just as hoes who could say the same thing and have a oh line of God. women. Uh, I'm just going to say, uh, there are uh, some dudes. I will admit, there aren't as many dudes who can do the same the thing. Stop the cap. But there are some dudes who could do the same thing. No. No. But there aren't as many. I don't think I can even do that shit, being honest. So you... No. So you don't think that you can go downstairs to a bar and be like, and walk up to 100 guys, and out of those 100 guys, 99 would be like, yeah, okay, cool, I'm down. Okay, fine, you got it. Okay, so if a guy did the exact same thing, let's say he was handsome, he was all this shit, blah, 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 and he did to 100 girls, what percentage of girls do you think he would be ready 50. to fuck at that moment, just like a dude would be ready to fuck you at that moment? 50. I wouldn't even say 50. I think I'll, I, it's, I say 50. It's lower, though. It's lower. Okay. Even if it's lower, one is hard to do and one is easier to do. Now, are all men, would you call, okay, let's go back. Let's take a step back. Okay. Would you consider yourself the top escalon of women? No. Exactly. But we are talking about the top escalon of dude. So if you was to take an average dude and an average woman, the average woman would shit on the average dude Time nine times out of ten. And the average dude, I'm gonna be quite honest, if he went to the bar and did that, he might get one out of a hundred. He might get two out of a hundred. But even the average woman would still get that 90, 95 out of a hundred. Yes or no? Because if we can't even agree with facts, we, Okay, you got you got it. I'll give you that one. All right, I'll give you that one. one. <laughs> I'll give you that Girls one. Girls that are ran through because you you can't connect as much the more people I'm you trying, slept with. Uh, but I grew up seeing girls sleeping around. I've seen it. Uh, yeah. I, think, I saw, yeah. I saw yeah. it. I, I grew up in that community. Yeah. That's why that I can speak on it. Yeah. And growing up, I saw a lot of girls. And it was kind of like you had ho you had girls who were known for giving head. Mm -hmm. You had this girl yeah. known for this. Like in different areas, there's a bunch of hoes. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So over time, things have yeah. changed. Like, mm -hmm. I think. Things have Society has actually changed. But, but, but they, why? But, but why? But why though? isn't it? Why isn't it a man's business to know your past? Because your past dictates your future. Okay, if you, you if you have if you have it does. If you have habits, your habits are who you are. So yeah. if you spent if you spent five years sleeping around, let's just say, then it, how how is he to know that you won't do that again when you turn thirty two? Like, like, because you have that past. Like, I'll give you an example. I used to drink, okay? Mm -hmm. In college, I drank, and I decided to stop drinking. I don't drink anymore. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, there's always a part of me that's going to want to drink because I did it. I started it. I used to really like it. And so it's like, if you used to be a hoe, there's a part of you that's going to want to go back, no matter how much you suppress it. Okay, could because Question. We actually had a discussion on a different panel. Shout out to uh, Donald Really Heaven. Once a hoe, are they always a hoe? Well, first of all, she's comparing drinking, mm -hmm. her drinking problem, mind mm -hmm. you, that sounds like a little bit of addiction, to being a slut. Okay. One's an addiction, one's a choice. And I don't think so there are such things as sex addicts. So you don't think drinking is a choice? It's an addiction. It can be an addiction versus a so sex addict. So you don't think addict. sex can be an addiction? It's easier to get addicted to alcohol than okay. sex. I will say that. And she had a problem with drinking, right? And she's trying to compare it to something that's not in the same ballpark. That that's where my issue came to play. But I think when you're talking about can a hoe stop like being a hoe? Um, it depends on the person, honestly, because it's just a choice. Like that's no. I'm saying I'm asking you personally. Do you think other people, if they can be a hoe and they can stop being a hoe and never be a hoe again, do you think that can actually happen? If you have strong enough motives, yes. Okay, I just want to know that yeah. because you, you used that. to do it. Go okay. ahead. A guy then as well. A guy, yeah, I think your habits, like if a guy's oh, sleeping with... then I got a follow-up question. Mm -hmm. If you meet a guy, he was, he was not your ideal guy, but he's attractive, etc., and you start dating him, and you find out that every girlfriend he had in the past, he cheated on, are you going to look at him different? 
But now he's a changed man. He says, hey, you know, I'm, I'm a changed man. I'm fucking faithful now, or et cetera. So that's where your actions are more of an, uh, it's a factor than your words. Niggas lie, bitches lie, everyone lies, but your actions will speak the truth mm-hmm. louder than anything you say. And mm-hmm. I, that's where I need to see that you're actually putting in that effort, that commitment to actually change. Okay. So, I mean, like, I would be doubtful, not going to lie, but that's where your mm-hmm. action is going to have to speak to me. Okay. With everybody, is so it going to be hard for him to stop? Yes, but the thing is, men and women are different. We value different things. Girls don't care as much if they get cheated on as as, as women do. They <gasps> don't. Do. I'm sorry. It's not the same because then we wouldn't pick the guys that cheat. She said girls don't get cared enough like guys do when get cheated on. So for you personally, do you care if you was in a relationship and you got cheated on, is that an unforgivable act and you will never come back or is that something you can actually work out? Mm, you got to think about it, okay? Yeah, because now he's cheating on me. Not cheating. He cheated. So he's cheating on me. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead. You so, can, if you want to make it further, this, let's go. Um, ah! Yeah, that's a, you're breaking my trust. So, and I mean, if any relationship, trust is the number one thing, right? And if mm-hmm. I can't trust you, how can I be with you? Okay. So, I mean, like. I don't know, that your actions showing me I can't trust you. That's where your actions are speaking louder than any fucking apology that could come afterward. <laughs> so right. I don't think I could, I don't think so. I mean, like, you, you broke my trust. You could have just broke up with me. Mm. Fucking damn. But you decide to break my trust and go behind my back. Okay, real quick. What if someone takes a break or breaks up with you, does something, then wants to get back with you? Did he tell me about it? You didn't ask. Versus I find out about it myself. You just didn't ask, so he didn't tell you about it. I would ask. Oh, then he like, tells you about it. Okay, then I'm like, okay, we we communicated that we weren't in that span. I hate breaks anyway. I hate I don't do breaks, but in that right. span we communicated that we aren't together. Whatever happened outside of that is it happened. You know, we decided as a Sound joint like you couple. Doing some shit too, though. Ain't gonna... I'm just saying, <laughs> like as a joint, <laughs> as a joint, we decided that like, oh, if I did, that is not. He would he would ask him. We would discuss it then. But as a joint, we discuss, we decided that we, at that time we we're going to be together, and that's where it's a. Both of us came to a mutual agreement, and we can't be mad at you know what came out of mm-hmm. our mutual agreement. Okay, let's get back. Like I'm sorry, we go for the I guys. Agree. We go 100 percent of women want 20 percent of men. So if we're picking the guys that are gonna cheat, there's there's one out of three men that are virgins. So go pick them if you want to be a guy that's faithful. That's you are what you do. That's yeah, crazy. but you if are someone's a virgin, doesn't what? mean you're gonna. She said, just pick a virgin. If someone who's faithful. Just because you're a virgin, don't mean he's gonna be faithful. Mm, that's technically true, but he's, his likelihood of cheating is much lower than a dude that's already doing it. Yeah, I know, but yeah. it's a likelihood at the end of the day, not fact. Like, it's, you, you can still have run into that possibility. He going right after you get your But booty. that's the possibility that every guy going to cheat. Yeah, I guess, but that's why I'm single and I don't really want to deal with nobody. So, it's always that risk. <laughs> you sound hurt. Who hurt you? Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> but the thing is, though, to be honest, I've never heard, well, from friends and stuff mm-hmm. and our culture in UK is different people mm-hmm. don't really have a culture mm-hmm. that a guy would even leave you based on how many people you've slept with do they really care no no our age they do they don't yeah. this our age they this care a, a lot also oh, they no, do care no, no, and no. one thing i noticed That's you see with this whole body count thing i think it's wild that her generation cares about body counts you said you you think it's wild that her generation cares about or don't care about body that count that they do Oh, okay. Yeah, I would say so too. That's, That's wild. Yeah, girls lie. They of literally course. chop There's their no body count in half. Anyway. That's so you may ask a girl, no your what is your body count? Uh-huh. They may lie. What's your body count? What's your bank account statement then? The thing is uh-huh. though, there was You'll that... never get an honest answer. I know girls no. that have lied. There was that. that. Um, so, yeah. there was to, that. to answer so, that, I, I go to the extremes, right? Mm. I'll take a polygraph test. You take a polygraph test. <laughs> Let's go. That's how committed I am. Like. That is the place I would okay, go to. Okay, then what happens when the <laughs> body count is high? high? Did you wait? Well, did she then. take? Did you take a polygraph test? No. Yeah. Are you well, really? We can. T- I'll take one. You can ask me anything. Anything. <laughs> okay. I am fully committed. What? Say what? If he has to take a polygraph, I don't think he trusts her. No, that's not true. Because again, most women lie about their body count. You gotta already accept it as a man. Uh, a woman that you barely know, that you you know not to be honest about certain things, will lie about her body count when you just. Oh. Know her. Oh, because that's what he's talking about. The perspective of oh. he's dating a woman. He says that he would go to the lengths of taking a polygram child just to make sure that her body count is that. I'm just saying. What? That's doing a lot for a girl you don't even care about. No, because he's trying to take her serious. 
So he he wants to care about her, but he wants to make sure he goes through and do his due diligence, right? To care about her. That's the overall point. If you don't, but I, you care a lot about her coochie. That's all I'm saying. It's that's not about coochie. Effort. It's about habits. It's about discipline. It's that's about patterns. Of... It's about all these other things. What if it didn't happen in a pattern though? Like, what if it happened in like one month and then she went a year that's without fucking? <laughs> And then she went a year without fucking, and then she smashed it again, and then, like, here's one here's. guy. I don't know. Like, it's just, that's a, you're doing a lot. Uh, no, you're no. doing a lot. A polygraph? That's a lot. A man cares about a woman's future. A woman cares about a man's, uh, I'm sorry. A man cares about a woman's past. A woman cares about a, a man's future. So for us, we really 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 care about your past for you you really 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 care about our future if you knew a dude is not going to be successful and you was with a dude and let's say he was he was a good dude right and he's making i don't know forty eight thousand dollars a year and you go to a psychic one day and you get a crystal ball and she says oh child this guy will never be anything above what he is right now he will never make anything more than forty eight thousand he will never look etc are you gonna are you gonna still stay with him better get a second job you got no this is a premonition from do crystal really ball do i love the guy hmm? do i love the guy that's all you you with him um, that sucks um dang if i love the guy i'm kind of in it no okay so you will stay with him you'll be fine if i'm in love with the nigga i must something i must love something all right i must love something Right. And there's a lot of hoes. Like, you know, there's a <laughs> lot. It's hard to find a good guy. So if I really love this dude, he's good to me. Hey, at least I'm happy. Okay. I can respect that. But majority of women would not. <laughs> More majority of women would be like, no, I would want him to have bit ambition, be higher, do better, etc. Because a woman really cares about a man's future. And we just really care about a woman's past. What happens when you hear something you do not like? What happens? And you're already in love with this girl. Like, you you know you want to me, marry her. Like, for me, would that be the determining thing? No. And you know that it was her but, past. No, no, no. I, I see what you're saying. I yeah. see what you're saying. For what, what I was saying is, when you're in that first um, interaction, yeah. it depends on the damage, right? Mm -hmm. It does depend on the damage. Like, if it's so much worse, then it's so much worse. Mm -hmm. But I believe in truth. Like, and it may be an optimistic, idealistic view of the world, oh, but the hell I think about? you should be willing to put all your cards <laughs> on the table. And I, I think the truth comes out eventually. Maybe yeah. not today, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But like, if you've been sleeping around town, he's gonna he's gonna run into someone you slept with. Exactly. So, so like, you're right. Women, I, I do see hoes get wifed all the time. I, I do see it. And a mm -hmm. lot of times the men don't know, but the truth comes out or they leave because they're too damaged. But there's some who have been true. So, okay, let me just say this now. There's no win-win then for her. Mm -hmm. It's either you tell the truth, mm -hmm. you, like the guy will leave you. And then you try going the straight and now where you've been literally celibate, for, let's say five years. And it, that's not your lifestyle. It, it could also be. It could be you to lower. It could be to lower your standards and think. Hmm. You know, I'm not a virgin, so maybe I could date outside of the church, and he doesn't have to be equally yoked. Because how yoked am I if I'm not a, if I'm not a virgin anymore? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But a lot of women do anyway. Yeah. Okay, and we can actually end it on your final thoughts about that. What they just said that if a girl has a high body count, that she's kind of in a lose lose situation. What are your thoughts when she said about being honest versus lying versus etc. She's loading. I can't relate. I gotta put myself in that perspective. Is it a lose lose? Mm. Mm. I don't know. Is it? I don't. I feel like there's some people, and there. I feel like there's somebody for everyone. Like she's. It's, okay. There's still some people who have a kink for high body counts or some shit like that. Like, I True. don't know. I feel like well, it's not impossible. Mm. I feel like it lowers your chances. I think so, but it's not impossible. True. Okay. So for you, you you still feel that like that person that has the high body count still can find a partner. Love, There's somebody for everybody. I don't believe that. But I, I'll go on Pornhub. There's any anything. <laughs> go, on there, look, go on Pornhub and search up anything. You'll find a video for it. I'm oh so God. sorry, but you will. Sorry I did that to you guys, but don't. It's well, for true. the 12% of women that's watching it that may have a high body count, like she just said, lower your standards. You're not going to be with a dude that is, is, that's fucking got it all, status, money, etc., and just going to take you as your whole ass self. It's not going to happen. I would just say... What? If no, go have, ahead. Speak just, your mind. You Let's high, go. To the 12%, if you have a high body count, um, I would say... 
You Just gotta, discipline in your fucking life. You, yeah, dude, you, you need to tighten up. But um, you need to also, if you want a high value, dude, you need to treat yourself like you're high value. Oh, God, we about to start something else. Well, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> you fucking so many dudes. What is high value? Like, some of them oh, are my. bound to be, like, Matter low fact, standard dudes. What's your IG? Because I want to start this next video. What's my IG? Oh, it's Coca K C O C A dot K underscore. All right, if you want to follow her, make sure you follow her in the link of the description below. Other than that, I'm out. Peace.